My opinion is for this winner, they want to succeed their goal to go to a USC, to go to a big organization. I think without Tiger Muay Thai support, it's going to be a little hard for them because Tiger Muay Thai is very well known around the world, as you know. Now, if they come under our roof, we're going to push them, we're going to help them, we're going to do whatever we can to make them to succeed their goal. A lot of them have very you know, good potential to be a, good, a great fighter. How would, how would we give four and four? Four MMA and four Muay Thai, right? But you have to pick the, uh, the best one. For the final third spot, we, as of yet, we haven't chosen one guy. There's four guys who we like, and they're all about the same weight, all about 65 kilos, and we, we can't really separate them, like, literally, like, in sparring. They were just going against each other, and it was just like one for one for the fitness. Like, they're all sort of about the same sort of level. They all show good heart, good technique. So we're gonna we're gonna separate them by having them fight in a, a four-man tournament tomorrow night at the barbecue beatdown. We think we think you're all really good, um, but we don't know who to give the sponsorship to. So what was decided in the meeting this morning was that we're gonna, assuming you guys are up for it, uh, we're gonna have you all fight at the barbecue beatdown tomorrow night, like under amateur rules, pro am rules, like. You know, shin pads, bigger gloves, uh, elbow pads, in a, a four-man tournament. And then whoever wins that tournament gets the, the sponsorship. Um, and then we like all of you guys, but we just, we can't have, uh, you know, six. We, we, we've already got you know, a team of guys. We haven't got six more rooms that we can give for a year. You know, and six more, like, meal plans, six more, or everything. Send me a message, so oh my know. friend, I start my job and <laughs> I stop my life. I come to Taylor. Me, yeah. no, yes, I don't care. Barbecue beatdown is one of the highlights of Taiko Muay Thai's organization. Is the reason why we do barbecue beat out last Saturday of the month is we want to do something for our customer who have been training for the whole month long. Once a month that we can have them enjoy, you know, party and, and after training. The people who come and train at Tiger Muay Thai want to have a, a feeling or taste of how to be in the ring. And this one going to be, I think, the most special barbecue beat out ever. We have been done barbecue without 119 times. That's mean 119 months, the course of 16 years. So this one will be one of the best barbecue beat out. Be quiet. Be quiet. We have three judges at ringside and one referee. For the points to be scored with knees, kicks above the waist, and the elbows. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This is Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, give it a big round of applause.
applause for both these warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll be moving on, fighting for another time later on this evening. And your winner, the Red Corner, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Corner, Tomas Barrios from Argentina, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for sportsmanship, the cornerstone of fight sports, respect to that man right there and that man right there. Of the format tournament, one of these guys goes on to win the combination food and training for the year to be a professional Muay Thai fighter and chase their dreams at greatness. Gracias a Gil y a Juli que fueron los que me hicieron progresar muchísimo y gracias al equipo Tiger por esta oportunidad. Me 
recommended, and he's yeah, he's, he's shown as well, like really good heart, good fitness, technique is is good. Like he's obviously still young, so he's still got a, a, a lot of room to improve, but he shows really good potential. Hey, I just won the finale. Uh, me and my Argentina both got scholarships at Tiger Muay Thai, and it feels amazing. Uh, no, I didn't. I thought he would take it because I, I got counted in the second round, I think it was. Right. And, uh, but we both, he had a lot of heart and we both put in a lot of effort, so uh, I think we deserve it. I want to thank uh, my Muay Thai, who I've been with for the last three years, Smack Gym in Manurewa, New Zealand, and uh, Tiger Muay Thai for having me, all the trainers and fighters who took part in the trials. And uh, just believe in yourself and you can, you can be a winner. Josh from New Zealand. I, uh, I've seen him fight before at a Samui fight and on Max Muay Thai and he comes sort of recommended to us from some of the other guys on our team. He looked really good, like really good uh, technique, very good technique. Впечатление очень хорошее, очень рад, что я выиграл этот как бы отбор. Буду стараться не, не подводить, работать на все сто. И такие условия, которые я выиграл, для меня будет очень это, плюс будет большой для меня. Еще что-то надо добавить. Хотел бы спасибо выразить, конечно, Саяду, ну и вообще Тайгеру Майтаю, что организовали дают такую возможность, чтобы отобраться именно, показать как бы свои силы, отобраться в команду, лучшую, я думаю, команду, с лучшими условиями. Спасибо вам большое. He's got a lot, a lot of potential. Um, he's already good as it is. He's beaten a lot of good guys. Um, and I think he's right on the cusp of, of getting to the UFC. He's good striking, good grappling, everything. He had outstanding wrestling, really good striking, good, good jiu-jitsu as well, you know, good bottom game. Um, obviously physically strong, you know, good athlete, and he's already got a lot of experience, so he was, he was everyone's top pick. I'm happy. This was my dream when I was a kid, and then it became a goal, and now the result. Я очень счастлив. Спасибо Саяту за то, что э, в соцсетях он разместил э, видео, что ведется отбор, набор в Тайгер. И таким образом я сюда попал. Я очень счастлив. Я не знаю, нет слов. Это круто. Но хочу сказать, что это только начало, и мы продолжаем стремиться к лучшим результатам. Я надеюсь, я уверен, что в Тайгере э, у меня будет только победа. Edward from Belarus and he really shone in the trial like not only with uh, the Muay Thai specific stuff but also in just the, the general fitness stuff. He blasted up the hill to Big Buddha, he was the first one up there. He didn't even look tired at the end. Beats workout as well, blasted through that. Sparring both K1 and Muay Thai style, top level, yeah, really good guy. He's a IFMA silver medalist and already a kickboxing champion in China. So he'll be a really good addition to the team. positive and confident mindset so yeah I think I, I kind of did but at the same time I was a little cautious and just wanted to wait it out you know <laughs> so it was still a surprise when I heard my name like oh that was my name yeah, I mean it's awesome you know that they put this together that 
it's even a possibility for us to, to take part in this, that's really amazing. And um, yeah, I'd like to thank them for that and thank them for believing in me, you know, and giving me the chance to to go on this journey with them. Yeah, she's top level girl, like top 10 in the world, for sure, in my opinion. Former WPMF champion, former WMC world champion. She's fought the, the best in the world already and yeah, it showed like she was definitely a step above the rest of the girls as far as the Muay Thai goes. Second winner is Quinn Thomas from USA. Oh man, I feel like I'm dreaming right now. I feel, I, feel, I don't even know what to say right now. Um, it's, it's great, man. I feel amazing right now. I was nervous as heck though. All day I was nervous, so I'm, I'm glad I got it. I'm like, I'm feeling blessed. Thank the Lord, man. Um, thank everybody here and everybody from back home who's been supporting me. And um, everything is, I'm here because of everybody else, so I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful. We had Quint, he's the IFMA champion for the Amateur MMA World Championships. Came out a little bit early to prepare and he's just a great kid, man. He's got so much potential. He's good in every position. He's coachable, which is what you want. And he's been putting in his work and it's been paying off. You know, he, not once did he really take a back seat to anything. He knew what he wanted. He set his mind to it and he's getting it done. So I'm happy for him. Отбор прошел очень хорошо, я долго готовился к этому отбору и шел к этой цели, это была моя сейчас цель номер один, и я ее достиг, я очень рад этому, спасибо большое всем, кто переживал, болел, поддерживал меня на этом пути, я очень рад, это, в данный момент это была моя мечта здесь, попасть в эту команду, в Тайгер, и моя мечта исполнилась. And he's good everywhere. He's, he stands out in his grappling. Diaz is another guy who's from the Kazakhstan. He's very, very, very scrappy. Wrestling's is good. Striking's good. And again, he's another guy who's tough. So he's going to be a great addition to the team. Diaz, who is uh, one of the smaller guys, he really stood out with his wrestling. You know, particularly good wrestling. Very good striking as well. Uh, good sweeps off his back. You know, very tough. You know, very athletic. So he really stood out as well. We only have a few days just to see really who wants it. I think that it's really hard to evaluate people in such a short amount of time. But when you make every session really tough, uh, it's not the best way to train for a fight. But when you make every session really tough, you really it'll it'll weed out the week, and you'll really see um, when people are tired, who keeps going, and. And in combat sports, that's all it is, survival of the fittest, and, and these tryouts is just a small glimpse of that. I think it's just tough because you, you take into consideration the humidity, the weather, the climate, you take into consideration the coaches that are just they're hard on you. Mentally, it's a challenge. Physically, it's a challenge. So it's just one of those things where you really got to bring your A game every single session. When people talk about rest, yeah, it's important. So I think the guys at the highest level you know, that's an everyday thing for them. So you got to get those guys used to an everyday battle. That's how the best get to where they are. The opportunity that you get if you win the scholarship is just, it's huge. You can move to Thailand, your room is covered, you have a meal plan at the gym. So a lot of your expenses are cut down right there and all you have to focus on is training and fighting. So it's a huge opportunity that, you know, I think most people would, you know, do anything to have. The opportunity to come out here and not have to worry about bills, just worry about training and fighting, is it can, it can change somebody's life and I've seen it. It's amazing. How you good, okay? One, two, three! Time out!